The Victorian Labor Party, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you saw 60 Minutes on Sunday night, but basically another huge scandal is uh, enveloping Dictator Tan's regime down here in Victoria. Uh, so we're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the 60 Minutes report on the Victorian Labor Party, Adam Sumanyik basically is being branch stacking uh, his way through the Victorian Labor Party. It was just scandalous, the accusations. And it's, it's actually surprising that the Dan Andrews regime can um, um, basically um, remain after this scandal that was revealed by 60 Minutes on Sunday night. I mean, it's amazing it doesn't bring down his whole government. Um, it's extraordinary um, because it affects not only uh, the particular fellow who was involved in the branch stacking, but numerous other members of the Victorian Labor Party, many of them cabinet members, were involved in branch stacking and corruption, and it's just absolutely extraordinary. Um, Adam Somiak was a kind of, um, well, he's a Turkish thug, let's be honest. He's a Turkish thug who has um, uh, infiltrated the uh, Victorian Labor Party, and he was originally a cab driver, uh, and uh, he basically moved from cab driving to intimidation. And I mean, obviously the Labor Party has long had a history of intimidation, apropos um, the unions and, uh, and strong arming support. And, um, you know, so this, the, this kind of tradition of strong arming can, remains within uh, the Victorian Labor Party. And this is the time when, you know, uh, the Victorian Labor Party couldn't be more politically correct. It couldn't be more, you know, oh, you know, you know, pro-feminist and pro-lesbian and gay. And here they have this kind of basically... Um, a uh, thug from the Middle East, basically, you know, he's, 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 he's slagging off women, he's slagging off everyone in the party, he's, co he's slagging off the kind of politically correct members of the Labor Party. It's absolutely scandalous and it's extraordinary. And it, it really has the power to bring down the, uh, the Dan Andrews government. And I, I really think, you know, it needs to be investigated a lot further. I mean, obviously, I congratulate 60 Minutes for this brilliant report that they've done. Um, but there's been a lot of scandals connected to the Victorian Labor Party, like the Red Shirts, Rorts, Lawyer X, the whole George Powell thing which was dodgy um, you know there's just been a lot of mischief going on with the Victorian Labor Party and obviously on top of that you've got the whole Belt and Road thing um, that the Victorian Labor is in bed with the Maoists uh, and the Marxists in the Chinese Communist Party and obviously um, even recently as last week ScoMo um, appealed to Daniel Andrews for his better nature to tear up this Belt and Road thing because it was against the national interest of our country. We have a huge scandals going on at the moment in the Victorian Labor Party and you know I hope that to see a regime change um, whether it be a call for a new election or maybe Dan Andrews steps down and he resigns amid all this scandal and a more moderate uh, Labor leader is is elected um, to take over the, for the remainder of the term of the Labor Party. So you know it's really scandalous so pay attention make sure you check out the 60 Minutes report. It's online and uh, get on Facebook and uh, post about it because, you know, obviously Labor in Victoria has been a stronghold for the Labor Party and to break um, Labor's hold upon um, um, a government, uh, I think it's important to use these scandals um, the way they deserve to be used, um, which is to reveal the mischief that's been going on and the old um, tactics of uh, the Labor Party, the old strong arm tactics are still there and we need to get rid of them. So. Reject that and reject strong arm tactics here at the report from Tiger Mountain.